What's up everyone? Today we got a few new, um, I guess not new, but like Pokemon products that I haven't opened up on the channel yet. So we got the Cleaver V-Star box, the Arceus V-Box, it's kind of here in the back, and the Professor Juniper um, milk carton. These all came out at uh, completely different times, um, but I figured I'd open up together since I've slowly kind of gotten ones. These are ones I haven't opened up on the channel. Um, I also have like two random Hellings Guys Blister Packs, but I thought they'd be interesting to open up. Um, and yeah, see how they go. Yeah. I got this one from GameStop, which I'm gonna say already, probably a lot of other YouTubers have. This isn't worth the retail price. Um, and I didn't know that at the time, because I was just kind of like looking around. But yeah, these things go for like way cheaper online compared to like stores. You can find these for like 25 on a lot of online like game stores and stuff for these keywords, V Stars, and I think the like, Lucario ones too. And these are like retail for like 40, which is crazy because you only get like six packs. So I think for the retail, they should have put at least like eight packs in here, not six. I know like, they're thinking like they're throwing out a lot of stuff, but like it's still 40. Like that's crazy. I know a lot of stuff is going up in price on retail, unfortunately, but yeah. So I get the, you know, the Jumbo Cleaver V Star card, the, all the trash that goes with it. You guys can have the code card if you want the Cleaver Restore for the online game. Um, I don't know if the online game is like, is it still like, is it active? You get the full art Cleaver Restore, it looks kind of cool. And then the normal Restore Cleaver. And then the Cleaver Coin. So, I mean, if you're a fan of Cleaver, I know a lot of people kind of um, like, oh, and you also get the pin. So if you're a big fan of Cleaver, this would be for you. I'd say obviously get online. If you are looking for it, go to like, just like a local GameStop store. Like there's, there's there's a ton probably you could look up. Um, the one I use sometimes is like TCG Stadium. And um, what's the other one? I can't remember. That's the only one I remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so you get six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. The pack selection isn't too bad. I like these. Um, I prefer Evolving Skies. But, you know, I guess they can't all have Evolving Skies. I'll just make them all too samey. But at least it isn't like battle styles or anything. Alright. But yeah, for like, there you go, code card. You don't, you're not getting a lot for your 40 bucks if you do go for it on this. So this would be like a hard pass, but yeah, if you get for 25, this isn't too bad. Six packs and all those like add-ons. Usually packs like $4 each um, retail. Well, right now they're going, oh, hollow first hit, Deoxys. Um, going up on retail, like sleeve blisters are like $4.50. So it's I don't know, it's pro just better to buy online right now, for sure, I'd say. Buying in stores, like, prices are going up. Online, like, prices for a lot of things are, like, down usually, unless it's, like, Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies is one that, um, it's gonna be, oh, well, um, one that's probably gonna stay at the market. But usually you can buy, I found, like, Evolving Skies at stores, so I think 450 for, like, Evolving Skies packs, I think that's worth it, because, like, people online are charging usually, like, $5.00. Um, or more unless you're lucky enough to get um, in on like one of the restock days on um, The Pokemon Center where they sometimes they restock um, Evolving Skies. They've done it like two times once with the ETBs and the, or not the ETBs the um What's it called the booster boxes and just the, the boosters okay, I did it the video. Oh, that's backwards weird. Okay mm, Dark But yeah, um, I was gonna say, I think uh, the next new thing, the Pokemon Go that comes out, um, it'll probably be like about a, two weeks from now, give or take. Ooh, nice, a creamy, and a hollow rare. All right, that's a double banger. This is the first kind of like normal, bigger normal hit out of the video. Although um, the characters are really gone down in price, so unfortunate. I oh. also ordered pizza, so I don't know, that might be here soon. Oh. 
Crystal card. Kind of blast through it. I forgot Fusion Strike was when I introduced these new code cards. But it's interesting because reprints of ones before don't have the new code cards. So I wonder if that's kind of like something they held. Or if it's more just um, they wanted to keep it that way for older packs to have the older code cards. Alright, continuing off. Back with Astral Radiance. So, uh, unfortunately this keyword booster doesn't seem to be giving us any of the pulls. This one. I need to move the uh, jumbo card to this side. Somewhere from out of my way. Oh man, these packs are like plastic -y. more than like, oh I guess, I mean they are plastic so one, but like, they're like a different type of plastic than the one that like, I guess comes off like a lot easier. It feels like very stretchy kind of plastic. At least in these packs it felt like really off to me. Togekiss and Hollow Decidueye. Gotten three Ahos, <laughs> but like nothing above an Ultra Rare, which is not bad out of six packs, but not really what you're hoping for. Alright, this is the last pack. Hopefully, we can get something else. I got two chances. We got the. Oh, I don't think it's now the code card because it is backwards for whatever reason. Water. I'm gonna get the Charizard. Come on, Charizard. Cleansing gloves. Oh, more pickle fees. So we got one, one ultra rare. At least, at least it wasn't zero. But yeah, not that great. Um, but we'll move on to the cooler product here. The RCS V uh, figure collection it has this like it has this like glitter on it, kind of like the um, the Ponyta box. I think that was the first one that had like this, this kind of like glitter texture on it. This one does also. I think it has the same type of glitter texture. Oh wow, even like the inside has this like, kind of like, weird like spray paint kind of effect. I really like the design of the box, honestly. I need to get another just for like the seal collection. But uh, this has like a really cool promo, it has a stand, it has like, I don't know, it's like a, this is one I'd say it's a solid buy. Um, I don't think these ones go for cheaper online, I think it's 25 no matter where. Oh, the promo, I thought the promo card would be textured, I guess. Yeah. The promo card's cool. I thought this would be textured, but I guess it's not, actually. Huh. And then the figure itself. I'm having his god rays, because he is the Poke God. And this is back there. And judge us with judgment. I can't really see him. And you get two brilliant stars, chilling rain, and the biggest one of all in here, a cosmic eclipse. Which is really cool for there you go, code card. Um, as, well, like a new product. Like, it's kind of like Eclipse was Sun and Moon era. It's kind of crazy that they'd have it in here. At this point, at least. But, they have them in those Pokeball tins for the D21s. Those are probably like long gone by now. People like, probably bought them up like crazy. I was kind of hoping they would uh, put some other Sun and Moon old packs in some of these, like, um, oh, I think card. um, I can't think, I can't think, uh, I know they did it with, uh, oh my god, I, I'm blanking, <clears throat> um, yeah, Guardians Rising, that's what it was, it was um, some, but that was, like, a while ago, like almost a year ago, I think, when Guardians Rising wasn't anything, for the most part. Um, but it'd be nice if they did it with, like, Team Up and, like, Lost Thunder and some other, like, uh, sets that people really like. Unfortunately, there's only four packs in this. I think the retail is $25 on this. I could be wrong. I don't remember too well. Which isn't too bad for four packs, and the, the figure itself is really cool, and the, um, the promo, so... This is the one where I say it's good. And you get a Cosmic Eclipse. Unless they change that in future uh, printings of this, if they make more. Because they can always change it. And it's no, always consistent, as you can see with uh, like Pokeball Tins. Wow. Uh, I guess no luck out of this. 
Not unless the Cosmic Eclipse pulls through. Magna Basin, hit on top. Or the character rare um, slot. I think it's a called the character rare slot. Nope, man. It is rough. All right. Can we get something out of here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no hits in the entire Arceus box. That is truly sad. Now we get a character rare. Oh, fair energy. Misty and Lori. Oh, I forgot that like, the designs of this are like, completely different. I'm not sure they like the trainers, but I think that's because it's tag team. Brawler, Ponyta, Cosmog, Type Null, dang, and Groudon. The cards are like, so different. Uh, unfortunately, nothing in there. Seems my luck is uh, not that great. But next, we move on to this, which I think is a really good purchase, even at retail. Retail is like $40, and you get, I think, what, seven packs, right? Yeah, seven packs and everything else in here. That's like really good because like if you think of a normal, a normal ETB, yeah, you get one less pack. But an ETB, the extra stuff you get isn't really that great to be honest. But this you get like a deck box theme. You get all the promos we'll go through. Sleeve like during like kind of cooler sleeves in the ETB for the most part. You also get like the dice like and coins if you're doing a normal ETB. But these ones are a bit different, and the, just the design of it, yeah. And Professor Juniper Pointer itself. Is that the first? I don't, I don't know. Keep track of the coins too much, but that's the first one I know. Like a person being on the coin instead of a Pokemon. Yeah, they probably don't in the past. I could be wrong, but yeah, you get these promos. Yeah, if you've seen the Marnie box. I did. I opened one in the past. It's basically like exactly the same. But, I mean, it was really hard to find that at MSRP. I never did. I had to get it for, like, 70 But here you guys go. You can have that for the online if you want it. And you get these kind of cool ones, kind of just like uh, the Marnie ones, where it's the Cosmos foil from Original Set. And then the Professor Juniper foil itself. Really nice foil. So if you, even if you don't get a pull, at least you get this. It's better than uh, nothing. So, uh, at least these are able to find an AT at a retail, but that's probably because, uh, this is probably not sought after as Marnie, because Marnie's probably more of a character people like, um, favor more, I guess, than Professor Juniper. Oh, there goes that. Alright, and the packs you get are really squished in there, which kind of sucks, and why I don't like it in some ways. Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Check for Check, Evolving Skies, and Chilling Rain. So a pretty interesting pack selection. Um, not bad. At least there's a new battle. There's no battle styles. That's. I'll give it a plus for that. We can have a code card. So hopefully get some uh, better pulls though, because the best thing I think we've normally pulled is that character rare Alchemy or the more Peko. Oh, nice. Okay, there. For Galarian Zapdos. That's probably the, that's definitely the best normal pull we got at least. It's definitely bumped us up, which is good because usually um, I remember that I only opened one Marnie box, but the pulls were really rough in that. I don't think I got anything except like a one V normal V card. I remember watching some other people open it um, a while back for the Marnie one, and it seems like these milk curtain ones are just really rough on the pulls for the most part. But I guess it all depends. It's all the luck of the draw when you're opening, you know, like only one or two of them. Uh, you can't really, like, calculate the pull rates of that. You have to open up, like, a ton to see, like, the pulls, like, the pull rates. Uh, this pack is, like, these packs feel, like, a lot more shiny than normal or how I would expect them to be. Alright. Dang, I'm not getting any luck, huh? As I'll start here, I'm gonna move the bike back. Hopefully I'm not hitting it too much, or it's causing an issue. Steel. The cargo. Here, I'll kind of blast this one a little bit more. 
because it doesn't have a character rare slot, so. Jump Luff and Grand Pig. A Grand, but not Grand Pig, oh my gosh. Alright, Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies. I wanted to leave the best for us. We'll see how this really scrunched up one is in the front. This is also the issue with the Pokeballs, if you've seen and opened those. They're just like crammed in there. So, V Star. They kind of <clears throat> get really, they can like lead to issues with the cards and it's kind of worrisome at times. Pimple up, Trudgegon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I do have two Evolving Skies blisters that open up after this. Just to round things out. Oh, there we go. Something in here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna start. Oh, water. Alright. Can we get something? Can we get the Zard? Something cool. Something to fly or character or maybe. No. And a hollow barrel. Wow. My luck is not very great. Feels like usually when you get these like um, products that have a lot of like promos and all that other stuff in them. Sometimes it takes away a bit of the polar polar rate look. That's just a superstition though, I know that that's not real, but sometimes it feels like that. Alright, water. Oh, dark. I think I guessed dark last time, and then I guessed water this time and it was like reverse of each other. It's funny. Character rare? No. Alright. Sorry about all the background noise also. Alright, the last pack out of the Professor Juniper box. At least I got one full art. If we did. Oh. This is facing. Why are the Evolving Skies ones? We're facing the wrong way. Oops. And then we have two random blister packs I got from Walmart. Um, I think I got the Arceus box. I think I got that from Walmart also, um, but like way earlier in the week. Oh, these are really off center. My gosh, look at that. Like, top right, left. My gosh. Teddy Ursa and a Chirum. So, hollow again, but nothing good, unfortunately. But, I have two Evolving Skies blisters to end it all off on. Next week, unfortunately, I'm only doing one video a week. I don't have enough to like just buy a lot of stuff to do multiple videos this week. Unless it's like the one pack videos, unfortunately. Um, but next week I'll have the Divergent Tins. I'll have those ready to go. I'll be posting those. And then after that, I should have Pokemon Go stuff coming in. So I should have Pokemon Go stuff for probably like two videos, at least two videos worth. Um, I got like the one where I'll do the normal ETB and then Pokemon Center ETB. And then also the. Um, the other art, like, products that came out for it, I have like one of each that I have coming in. So, last pack of the video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully, we can have something cool. Alright, last pack. I jinxed it, and right as I was about to open the last pack, the pizza came here. But, <laughs> now we'll be ending it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And okay, next week, I'll have the Divergent Tins, and then I'll have some Pokemon Go after that. Um,. Hopefully I can find more Evolving Skies. I want to do more Evolving Skies videos like those other two I did. Um, we'll see if the Pokemon Center restocks because it's mainly just luck when going to like, um, like normal stores. And then it's usually costs more. So, and finding online is like the most, as much, oh, my brain. Eh, I always send it on a hit. But yeah, going to like a normal store is almost as much as it is online for the packs, at least individually. Maybe like 50 cents more online because the Evolving Skies is really sought after. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.